Animal Crossing New Horizons was one of the most anticipated Animal Crossing titles to date. It was also the most forgettable. I'll just talk about the game at launch since the major and final update to the game was added in 2021. It still sold really well being one of the top 10 Switch games of all time in terms of sales as well as being one of the most anticipated games of the year. But as an Animal Crossing game, I found it to be a bit lacking. This Animal Crossing's game theme was focused around the deserted island, where you and a bunch of animals decide to move and start a new life there, both for you and the island itself. Unfortunately, a lot of what made the previous Animal Crossing games so replayable were missing from launch. No town hub, missing character interactions such as fetch quests and an actual pool of dialogue, not to mention the game progression sort of slowed down after you played for about a week. So unless you like decorating or hunting for villagers, there's not really much to keep you motivated. I feel like the developers focused a lot more on the actual island customization this time, giving you the ability to terraform your island to design the land, lakes, and rivers as you see fit, as well as being finally able to place pretty much any item in the game onto the island, and then kind of just forgot about the animals that are crossing to the island. To top that off with me personally not being the type of person who likes to go all out and decorate the island, the game pretty much ended for me after my 15th Mitzi hunt. Even updates felt bland, though the concept was definitely there. Content updates every month slowly giving us festivals and more things to do as they go, yet the updates themselves were relatively small, and eventually I found myself disinterested in the little things that they added later on. It basically turned into a game of just logging on to play once a month for the festival and then wait for the next one. I still feel like New Horizons is decent, but it's not as great as it could have been. It's no City Folk or New Leaf, having far less content and features than its predecessors at launch, though the customization and terraforming aspect of the game is really neat for builders and creators who like to build and customize their own towns and villages, or people who wish to do that but couldn't in previous installments. That being said, if you're looking for some more content and goals, you're better off with one of the older entries.